Hi friends. Hello, hello. I hope you are having a, um, a superb Sunday, Fancy Facers. I wanted to hop on real quick and share something with y'all because if you are anything like me, um, if you have been sick before, if you've been pregnant before, if you've had like um, a loss in the family before, um, we are a great community. Um, here in the South, people bring, hey Tev, hey girl, um, people bring recipes all the time, right? They bring like baked goods and dinners and casseroles and all that kind of stuff. And this one, in my opinion, is the best one to bring somebody. So I'm a member of a mops group of mothers of preschoolers and y'all, they are like my lifeline sometimes because they, let me tell you, I had three kids back to back to back and I had like meals for like a week or two weeks for like a year straight, <laughs> it seemed like. So I always try to pay it forward or pay it, essentially repay, I feel like, um, when somebody in our group has a baby and somebody does. So I volunteered to bring dinner tomorrow. And if y'all know me and my family, bless, yes, girl, my chicken Caesar pasta. Y'all, Megan has had my chicken Caesar pasta before. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> that made my heart happy. Um, but, it, so if you know me, like, Andy does all of our cooking. I don't. I... He just, he is like, I mean, he's one of those guys who can just whip, like pull things together, whip it up and it's good. I'm like, I need a recipe. So this is like the one thing that I make and I love it because it is my favorite recipe from when I was growing up. Like my mom made it all the time and she made it for us all the time and I love it. Um, I have one in our freezer phone and made it for someone else. Yes, girl. And it freezes great, which is the other really great thing. But y'all, it's super easy. So I've already prepped everything, but I wanted to share with you what it is because it really is like... A, it is like just, it's good soul food. It is good. It's beautiful. Like it's colorful. And it's like, it's one of the only things I make. And I even started, I pulled out, like you have to chop up some peppers and I pulled out all my peppers and Andy was like, do you want me to, do you need me to cut those? Cause he can like, he just cuts away. And I'm like, no, like I know I don't cut as pretty as you do. And I know I don't cut as quick as you do, but like, this is, this is like cathartic for me. Like this is, this is great. So it takes me longer time which is why, but I just, this is my favorite. So I wanted to share it with you guys because it really is, like, it's great. And I had to make it for a girl in my group tomorrow, so I wanted to share it with you. So it is chicken Caesar pasta. Essentially what it is, is it's a box of penne. Like, I use penne pasta, but you could, you know, use whatever kind you want. Um, and creamy Caesar dressing. I like to use Newman's own creamy Caesar. Y'all don't look at the back. That's okay. It's a whole pasta, so it's okay. Um, so it essentially, it is, it is pasta, it is chicken, it is peppers, beautiful bell peppers, um, cheese and croutons and Caesar dressing and you mix it all and you marry it and it's just, it's wonderful. So I'm gonna do it with you real quick, literally to show you what it is. And there's some ways that you can cheat it. So in here, I've already cooked my pasta, right? So I cooked my penne. I dumped an entire bottle of Newman's Own Creamy Caesar dressing. And this, y'all, this is like key. Don't use Ken's. I don't, Ken's gives it a different flavor. Um, you can still use it, but this is my preference. I've used different ones. Like I've tried, I'm like, oh, well this has less calories. Uh-uh, it gives it a weird flavor. I like Newman's Own Creamy Caesar. So I dumped the bottle in and then I took like a bit, like a cap full of um, chicken stock, put it in there, shook it around and then dumped it in my, cause you want it to like, you want, that's how the pasta is creamy. So then I've stirred that around and then you literally, I took um, a pound of chicken, so three chicken breasts, and I cut them up, I, like I cooked them. And y'all, if you don't have a rock crock, you don't have paper chef stuff, just find something. Hey, oh my God, did you know Costco sells shredded chicken? Already cooked, already shredded, pre-bagged. You should get some of that just to keep in your freezer. Like, holy cow, it is game changer. Because I swear to God, if I spent so many time like pulling my chicken apart when I was younger, anybody ever do that? Try to pull your chicken apart and burn the crap out of your hands? Yeah. That is what I did for the longest time. But let me tell you, this other little gem right here is my lifeline. This is actually the salad chopper from Pampered Chef. I use this for my chicken. And I just like can, I literally put the chicken in the bowl and, and it's so easy. I'm not gonna lie, Andy did that when I was putting Colin to bed. He shredded my chicken for y'all, but that's okay. So <laughs> I have the pasta, I have the chicken, I have the peppers. Green are always on sale. If I'm just making this for myself and for my family, we only get green because it's cheaper. The other ones are just prettier. So I have, sometimes I get the stoplight in the bag, right? It's got the red, the orange, and the yellow. It'd be better if it was green, but that's okay. 
um, that has the yellow, but I didn't want the yellow because the yellow kind of blends with the pasta and I was like, I want it colorful, I want it pretty. So I chopped um, and I put them in like, I cut the slices and then I cut the slices, like I cut it long ways and then I cut it in half. Um, so for this one, because I'm giving it to somebody, I wanted it to be colorful, I wanted it to be beautiful. It is, I did two green peppers. I did a red pepper and an orange pepper and I literally just dump it. And you can use however many peppers you want. The great thing about this is, is they're big enough and chunky enough to where um, you can easily take them out if you don't love peppers. But I promise y'all, like even people who don't love peppers love this dish. I promise I have not made it for somebody yet that was like, oh yeah, thanks for nothing. Everybody has come back and be like, can I have that recipe? I literally, I think I've made it probably for like 15 people. Um, and everybody, and then I get a bag of cheese. And I, the, the reason you put the cheese in um, is because it, it melts it together and it holds it together, right? It makes it more like a together pasta and not just like an everywhere pasta. Um, so I just get mozzarella cheese and I dump a whole thing of mozzarella, right? Who doesn't love cheese? Raise your hand if you don't love cheese. That's crazy. And then you just mix it. You're gonna mix it all and you mix it all and that's it and you dump it in a dish. So I seasoned my chicken. I put some salt and pepper um, and oil on it just when I was baking it, just to um, like make it easier to, like more moist, right? Keeps it hydrated. Um, so, and I just, you just mix it, you fold it in, and y'all, it makes a big bowl. You gotta get like a deep bowl. I mean, but this is, so, look how pretty this is. Like that's so much color, so much goodness. So I'm gonna put it in one of like the aluminum trays um, because that's my favorite. I don't bake it before I send it to somebody. I don't bake it. I normally, because I normally bring it like mid afternoon, so you can let them bake it. So I literally, I dump this whole thing in. I dump away. It fills this entire tray. And it's so pretty. Like it's so colorful and it's so pretty, but y'all, it's super easy. And it is delicious. I mean, there are tons of other things that you can make and bring to somebody, but this one is just, it's delicious, it's easy. My children eat it and they don't always eat things. Like it's, it's so great. The only other thing that I do is I add, I take, um, I get Caesar croutons. You could use whatever kind you want. And this one, the Ken's pasta y'all, that you definitely want to, I, I not Ken's, the um, Newman's own. I definitely, I'm a brand person on that. I don't like to, I need Newman's own. I don't want to use anything else. But like the pasta, you can use your hair cedar brand. Um, oh my gosh, Megan, this is great because look, it makes, I mean, this is a nine by 13. This is ginormous and you can easily cut this. Like you and Lance can make this probably at least two meals. I think Andy and I eat it and it stretches like three nights and it saves great. Like you can make it, like make it and just marry it. Like what you don't bake, put it in the freezer. Um, so you could, I would say freeze it before you bake it. But I put these on last. Um, I normally mix them in. Sometimes you can just sprinkle them on top. Here's the trick. If you're delivering to somebody, like I made this tonight and I'm gonna bring it tomorrow, I'm not gonna put the croutons on yet because then they'll start to get like soggy. So crush them up and then put them on. But um, I'm gonna put them on tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna foil this over and put the top on, right? Put it in the fridge and then tomorrow I'll put the, the croutons on top so they're still fresh. So it's fabulous. Um, and you bake it. It's already, like, the chicken's already cooked, the pasta's already cooked. You just marry it for, like, 35 minutes. So, I'll put the recipe below. But I normally, this is best served with, um, like, the take-and-bake rolls from Harris Teeter. I like those a lot. The Sister Schubert's, like, the soft rolls are always great. The take-and-bakes are my favorite, and I always put a bag of Caesar salad. So, like, I'll put aluminum foil on this, and then I get, like, the bag salad kit, and I put it, like, in here. So, you have, like, your whole kit right there that I just delivered to somebody. And here's a tip, y'all. I, like I said, it was always so helpful for me. And the first time that I brought dinner to somebody, like I just brought that and the salad and the rolls. Cause like, that's what I did. One of the girls though in my mom's group, Dana, she's great. She brought me, she brought me a dinner. She brought me a pasta. She brought me like muffins. She brought me dessert. She brought me a bottle of wine. And I was like, oh my God, this is like, I'm set for like ever. So I started doing that too. And I'll show you what I did. Um, I made, I just got the little Martha White um, muffins. I love that muffin mix. It is super easy. It's a half a cup of milk and you just dump it and pop it. They're good. So I get the apple cinnamon because I feel like that's easy for kids to eat too. A lot of these women already have younger kids, so that one's great. So I make them those. I bring them those. I bring them the dinner. I get wheat thins and hummus because as a mama, you're always needing to eat to like replenish. So I think that's a great like to go on the snack. 
And then I got some little like bright Gerber daisies to bring them. But it's just like such a great little, like you put it together. It's a fun little welcome basket. So um, I will put the recipe below. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. I'll put it below, but like look how pretty that is. And y'all, super easy, especially, okay, so here's some shortcuts. You can buy peppers pre-diced. Check. I like to dice them because for me, this is like, this is going to somebody who like you want love and support. So for me, I'm like putting my prayers, putting my love, putting my support into cutting peppers. I know that sounds weird, but like, okay, this is, I, I'm like taking my time to do this for you. I want to put my love and support, but I'll be honest, I've, there's been a couple times where I'm like, get me the shredded chicken. So yeah, so, uh, pre-peppers, like you can already get them pre-diced. That is fabulous. If you need another shortcut, uh, Costco, and I'm sure probably other places sell them, but they already sell pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken. So all you really have to do is boil the pasta. So by the time the pasta is done and your chicken's defrosted, you can literally just dump it all and go. But y'all, I'm serious. This is beautiful. This will feed a family for like, I don't know, three days, four days. It just depends on how much you eat. But it goes great with the Caesar salad and great with taking bake rolls. So I wanted to share that with y'all because I had to make it for somebody for tomorrow. And poor Andy, I don't cook for our family. <laughs> he does all the cooking. But this is one that I love to make for people and people love it. So I wanted to share it with y'all because it's just part of part of my history, part of my family. My family was very big on like casseroles. Um, big, big, big on casserole eating. So this was like, because I've got four brothers, y'all. So there's a lot, you gotta feed a lot of, a lot for that, right? So we're big on casseroles and I love this. This one is like my heartiest. It is close to my heart. Um, and this is one of my favorites. So I wanted to share it with y'all because I just, I love it. So what I wanna hear from you, a, if this sounds delicious, if this sounds like something you want the recipe for, let me know. Drop some love below and I will put the recipe. I'll put the recipe out for you if you tell me. Um, but then also, what are some of your favorite recipes? Because like I said, I bring this, I, this is like my go-to for women. I, I don't think I have ever um, veered off this path. <laughs> I really have. I've made it for probably, like I said, 10 to 15 families and Everybody's always like, oh my God, I need that recipe. I need that recipe. And it really is. It's easy. It's pretty. It, it'll like brighten up their day. It's real kid. It's easy. Like it's kid friendly. It's easy for your kids to eat because it's pasta, chicken, and peppers. And even if they don't like peppers, like I said, these are big enough. I don't dice it, dice it. They're like chunked. These are big enough where you can like take some and put them away. But this is literally all like, I promise the best meal ever. If you ever need to bring some to somebody or if you ever need a day where you're just like, I just, Britt, I need some help, I need some love, I will happily make one for you. I love making it. Um, I make it for our family when I can, but like I said, Andy is, he's the chef of our family, y'all. I give credit where credit is due. He makes beautiful meals for us all the time because he's like, he's a chef, right? He's one who, you grab the ingredients, you put them together, and he makes a beautiful dish. I would, I would be on like the, I'd be the first one cut out of the kitchen if that's what I was doing. But this is a recipe now I know by heart because I love it and I make it all the time and it's great to share with people. So if you ever need like a casserole to bring to something or you ever need, like I said, I bring this um, like when women have kids. So I'm bringing it to my girlfriend Jordana tomorrow. Um, so if somebody's having a baby, I like to do that because y'all, that is super helpful. Like super helpful to not to have to cook and worry about that for your family. Hey, Michelle. Hey, girlfriend. Um, it is super helpful. So this is, like I said, this is what I bring. And I bring, I'll bring her some muffins, the salad, the rolls to go with it. And I'll bring her like a snack too for, um, to snack on throughout the day. Cause, oh, mamas need that too. Bless. And Melissa, I will absolutely share the recipe, girlfriend. I know Morgan would love it. Look at that. Your girl eats good stuff. Carter and Colin, Colin, y'all, Colin, he'll eat anything. Carter and Kyle kind of pick around the peppers. We're still working on that part, but Andy and I just gobble it all up. So, <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to pop on real quick. I'm going to go wrap this up, and then Andy has already grilled some wonderful chicken and made, oh my gosh, y'all, hang on. I have the best salad ever. Hang on. Do not judge that kitchen back here. That's crazy. That's a lot of stuff going on right there. Don't judge it. Um, this, we do a lot of salad kits. Um, we do a lot of salads too, but this is a, this is like my favorite salad kit ever. I used to think the kale one, um, the Chocolate Express, the kale kit, that's a really good one too. But y'all, this sunflower crisp, this is the, like the bomb.com. I could eat this any day, all day. This does not go with this meal, so I don't recommend it with this meal, but like we're having this with grilled chicken tonight. It is so good. I think it is, um, 
It's dry roasted edamame. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so good. So it's got lettuce in there, like it's a, it's a mix of romaine, kale, and cabbage. I don't love cabbage, but I don't care, I eat it up. It is a sweet onion vinaigrette, thank you, that's delicious. Dry roasted edamame, they are fabulous. Roasted sunflower seeds and toasted quinoa. Like this is the most beautiful salad ever for like grilled chicken or something. Like I said, does not go with this recipe. I love this with just a Caesar salad because it goes great with the Caesar dressing. You have your roll, you can dunk it, you can dip it, it's, it's wonderful. But, okay, I will share this. I just wanted to hop on and share it with y'all because it really is like, I just love it. Where did you get it? Uh, Michelle, this, you can these at Here's Caesar. I'm sure you can get them at any um, sort of, it's the Fresh Express. The sunflower crust. That's what this is. It's so good. Like I, I think it's, I think it's the mix between the dry roasted edamame and the sunflower seeds. Like they're little ones. I don't know. Maybe it's the dry quinoa, but they're, it's just like a good crunchy salad. I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. And I love a sweet onion vinaigrette. Oh my god, so good on a salad. Like I said, not great for this one, but that that's what we're having tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, okay. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, y'all. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah. So, share your favorite recipes, too. I'm always looking for a new one. Um, I like when I'm able to cook for my family, because like I said, Andy does it a lot, so sometimes I like to, I like to play wife <laughs> every now and then, right? <laughs> I like to contribute. Um, so, I normally make this in two batches when I make it. I normally make one for us and one for the family that I'm bringing it to, and then we're set for the week. But we already had a couple salads, and we're trying to clean out what we have right now. So I was, I just made the one, but I wanted to share it with y'all because y'all, I literally like. Mm, this is my love. Like this pasta is just, it's so pretty to look at, and it's so delicious to eat. So I'm excited to share the recipe with y'all. Yay! Um, okay, have a fabulous night. Sorry I look like a mess, y'all. I'm doing. We just got back from our anniversary, and I'm trying to like reflip my house so I already did my shea butter I took all my makeup off for the day and I'm doing eggplant parm yes ma'am come show me how to make that oh my god my mom loves loves eggplant parm I am still getting into it to be honest because growing up I was that kid like mm, I don't want to eat that that's purple why would I eat that <laughs> but I like it now as an adult I just haven't um made it yet I haven't been able to do that. So please come over. Come over one night. Let's set a date for that. Come over. Y'all, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should have a, a night. I'm happy to host it at my house to where everybody brings like their favorite recipe and we all make a thing and then like send home like small plates to people. Do you know what I mean? Do people do that? Is that a thing? Kind of like a cookie swap, but like a recipe swap, but you actually make it. I don't know. I'm happy to host it, though, if that's the thing. Um, but if not, Michelle, I definitely want you coming over, girl, because I would love to make eggplant farm. And you just feel fancy making it, right? Like, that's that's crafty. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to pop off, get all this together so I can bring it to Jordana tomorrow and her new precious baby. Kara, girlfriend, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Wonderful birthday. I saw you just pop on. Um, okay, anyway, y'all have a great, we used to years ago. What, do the switch? Do you like the, the swap, Michelle? Is that what you mean? Because that's really cool. You're going to tell me how to do that if that's the case. All right, Bailey is barking. She smells. She's like waiting at my feet. She's ready to go. She's not getting any of this. I hate to break it to her. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to go put these dishes up so we can go eat dinner. But, y'all, I just wanted to share because, like I said, I really honestly, from the bottom of my heart, think this is, it is just the perfect dish to bring somebody. Like I said, it's great for mourning the loss of a loved one. It is great for babies. It is great for when you know somebody who just needs, like, they need a beat. Like, they need a moment. And y'all don't ever, when somebody brings me dinner, I used to be like, oh, they think I, like, I can't, I can't do it. No, that's not the case at all. Like, be gracious, be grateful. Because for me, I was like, oh, I mean, I thank you, but I always felt bad taking it. No, people want to do that for you. So, like, it is, it is amazing. When I flipped that gear, that thought process in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful. Thank you. I didn't feel ashamed about it, right? I didn't feel like, no, I can't take the help because at first I did. As a new mom, at, like my first kid, I was like, when I first had Carter, I was like, no, I can get this. Like, I got this. And then we had our meal train and I was like, oh my gosh, that was great. And I had family members bring like freezer bags full of dinner. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is, it is so helpful. And I, I kind of got out of that mindset. Like, no, that's, 
that's not me being insufficient that's somebody helping and it is so great it is so so i'm just pray for pray oh is that a word and hopeful that this will be you know warming warm their soul and um, help ease some stress for the new baby so okay wanted to share that with y'all have a wonderful evening i hope you have a marvelous week tomorrow stay fabulous stay fancy and y'all i'm so excited um later tonight i'm gonna revamp the entire website ah yay for new watch it's so pretty i'm so excited okay anyway i'm gonna pop off and i'll talk to y'all later stay fancy love ya bye